This is a carnewscafe.com podcast quick sip. Hi, welcome to another podcast quick sip from carnewscafe.com. Today we're going to talk about the 2014 Lexus RX 350F Sport. This is a luxurious, capable, and fun vehicle. In a luxury vehicle, most of the attention is on the interior, which is what sets it apart from an everyday vehicle. With the 2014 Lexus RX 350F Sport, a beautiful interior is just the beginning. MSRP for the F Sport model is 47450 while the RX 350 itself starts at around $40,500. We tested it at $53,189, which included just about every option available for this vehicle. Updates from the 2013 model year to this 2014 are mostly centered on user friendliness with a new 115 volt power outlet added in the back seating area, an update to the collision warning system to allow for faster brake application, and the addition of Siri Eyes Free feature for iPhone users. Otherwise, the 2014 Lexus RX 350F Sport, part of a breed of this Lexus RX crossover which began the luxury car based SUV segment about 15 years ago is identical to the 2013 predecessor. This is not to knock the RX 350, of course, which really didn't have much that needed changing anyway. The RX 350 line is known for its low cost of ownership, its good cargo and adverse road conditions capability, and beautifully appointed interior. For us, the only problems to be found are common to many Toyota crossovers, which are the clunky infotainment and the goofy exterior ergonomics it has. As I said earlier, the interior of a luxury vehicle is where most of the focus should lie. In this Lexus, the interior is immaculate and phenomenally well appointed for the price point. There are better looking and more refined interiors, but you will pay a lot more than $45,000 to get them. The interior of the 2014 Lexus. RX 350 is very comfortable and comforting. These are two things that everybody wants in a crossover of this caliber. The use of high-end leather, of smart felt-like lining for the pillars and the ceiling, and the integration of intelligent space users are all expectations that Lexus has fulfilled. Small de details like pop-out cup holders, opening side door panels for easier access, the beautiful mouse-like control for what is otherwise an outdated and clunky infotainment system, these are all key points in this vehicle. Seat heating and cooling is not only perfectly tuned, but happens very quickly when it's activated. The position of controls and the small details that make driving less stressful are very well considered. Details like the side mirrors turning down slightly when you back up to make it easier to see the lines in the parking stall, or the seat pushing back when you shut off the engine to allow you to get it in and out easier, a uh, shifter that requires no reach uh, to utilize, these are all nice touches. All five seating positions are comfortable and give a smooth riding position on the road. The fact that Lexus combines this interior refinement with the rugged capability is a point that needs to be emphasized. That it does so with a real sporty feel in the F-Sport model is even more eye-catching. Speaking of the sportiness, under the hood here, the 2014 RX350 uses a 3.5 liter V6. This produces about 270 horsepower, 248 pound-feet of torque. Standard is a 6-speed automatic, but on the F-Sport model, that goes up to an 8-speed automatic and standard all-wheel drive, which is an option in other models. This combination of 8 speeds and all-wheel drive makes the F-Sport slightly sportier feeling, although it doesn't actually translate to more speed or uh, capability on the road. What's really happening is you're getting the impression that it's sportier, that it's going faster, and that's simply because the transmission shifts more. This also translates to slightly better fuel economy. Not great. The base model has 1825, uh, 18 in the city, 25 on the highway. The F Sport ups that to 1826. It's not a huge leap. And that's mostly because of that all-wheel drive addition that you're adding on. On the road, though, it's very comfortable as a daily driver, moves about very smoothly and with confidence, and unless the throttle is pressed, you will hear nothing from the engine compartment. It's very, very quiet. Once you do press that pedal down, though, it gives just awesome exhaust note. It's a almost baritone, not quite not quite deep but it just rumbles through the cabin and makes the car just feel confident you know zero to sixty is average it is not great it is not fast our freeway on-ramp testing uh, returned eighty seven miles per hour average on the merge 
This makes it fast enough to accelerate to freeway speeds and hurry around obstacles and other vehicles without delay, but it is not a sports car. Once it's on the freeway, the 2014 Lexus RX 350F Sport is very smooth, requires little input to do its job, and absorbs the bumps and wobbles of the road with finesse. It does everything you want a luxury vehicle to do. In town, the responsiveness of the engine and the stiff but still comfortable steering mean that the driver just knows where the vehicle's going and feels safe getting there. It doesn't sit too high, it doesn't sit too low, it rides just right. In adverse weather, which we have plenty of here in Wyoming and had during our week-long test drive, the all-wheel drive system does very well, gives a safe and roadworthy feel to this vehicle. Competition for the RX 350F Sport include uh, the Acura MDX and the Audi Q5. Uh, there are several other similarly priced luxury crossovers. The RX 350 competes well against that MDX, but with the upgrade to the F Sport, it competes against that Audi. Most will find that there's a reason that the RX 350 sells so well against these competitors and, for, and also from the other makes. It stayed on top because it just delivers everything well. It's confident, quiet, and a smooth ride, and it just has very well-executed interior refinement and sophistication. We should point out, though, the weaknesses of this vehicle. It has clunky infotainment, which is, is all across the Toyota lineup. Um, their, their infotainment really needs an upgrade. It does not have the same towing capacity as some of the competition, and it does not have a third-row option. If you're looking for that, you should probably look at the Detroit makes because they have, uh, they all fulfill those requirements. And as with the RAV4 that we talked about earlier, it has a snow shelf uh, around the body panel. It's not as pronounced as the RAV4, but it tends to collect snow and then it just drops it either into the interior or onto your pants as you open the door. A little bit annoying. The F-Sport model adds a lot of things that buyers might be looking for over the regular RX350. But either one of these should be high on your list of considerations if you're looking for a luxury crossover. So for carnewscafe.com, this is Aaron with another podcast quick sip. Talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.